What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions, man. Sometimes you hear a story, you be like, yo, that ain't right. That just ain't fair. And that's my exact feelings when it came to this young brother right here. His name is Diary Williams, 17 years old. Him and his mama, they just moved from Cincinnati, Ohio. And they moved to this little town in Texas somewhere. I think it's about 30 miles outside of Houston. It's called East Bernard. That's the high school he tried to go to. His mama took him up there and, you know, they told him, look, he can't come to the school because of his hair. So he can't even come. He can't even attend. You can't even enroll, bro, because the policies we have, because you got long hair or he had dreads or braids or whatever you want to call them. Plats, locks, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't think that's right that he can't attend school. Um, they said they like they, they didn't deny him enrollment because he couldn't even enroll because of his head because of the policies. It said I looked at the school. Um, I think it's Independence County, something like that. But. Yo, there ain't that many brothers up there, man. Ain't too many black people to go to this school. Like from the pictures I seen in there. And all the pictures that I did see, they only had like one black person in each photo. So if you go look up um, East Bernard High School, you're only going to see like one brother or one sister in each photo. This is this thing called the Crown Act that they passed not too long ago, some years ago or a year ago. I don't know the time, but um, the Crown Act is where, you know, they stopping people from stopping people. From um, wearing hairstyles in schools, it ain't done in all states. It's, it's only a few states that they do this in. But I think it's unfair that this young brother can't attend school because of, the, of his hairstyle. He tried to use some kind of um. His mama tried to use something saying like it's our religion or some religious exemption and all this stuff. But I don't think he even got to do that. It shouldn't even matter the length of his hair or the style of his hair. If he ain't got no damn, you saw them dudes looking Florida. I'm in Florida right now, but you saw them dudes look with like six braids, like one here, one there. That's probably distracting. Look like Sideshow Bob. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Look up Florida goons. Y'all see they here, man. They got like one dread this way, one dread that way, one coming up the front. It look wild, man. But he ain't even got that. He just got like dreads or locks, you know, whatever you want to call them. And I don't think this fair that this young brother can't attend school. I mean, it is their rules and their policies, man. They got to stop that. This thing called the crown neck need to be passed in every state because, you know, people should be allowed to wear their hair the way they want to wear it. He said it's about religion or his his culture and all this stuff. I feel you. I, like, yo, people got that. People, they believe in stuff like that. More power to you. But I don't even care about all that. It's your hair, bro. You do what you want to. Y'all let that man attend school, man. Anyway, we definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. And we definitely going to be able to chime in on when I get my co-host with me, man. So, yo, y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, hit the comment sections. Tell me what you think about this and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.